Good morning, family. A little bit rainy this morning, but that's okay. We're gonna have church anyway, right? <laughs> There's another little, little, little piece of my growing up that I used to come to all the time. Um, this little cave. I know we're done with Easter, but I uh, uh, can't help but think about when they, they. Uh, it says in John, it's on the first day of the week. Mary Magdalene came to the tomb and saw that it was empty that the stone had been rolled away and then she went and got Peter and and John and they came running and and they 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 ver verified they seen for themselves that Jesus wasn't in there you know and and uh, the thought that comes to mind there is where's the body and uh yeah where's the body <laughs> that's some good stuff the uh um we take and, and think about the uh the resurrection of Jesus and I'm gonna come in here where it's dry a little bit how about that the uh, we think about the resurrection of Jesus and uh, it, it, uh, it it blows our mind because it's something we can't can't comprehend it's something we can't imagine <laughs> because there's no physical left of it you know it's just a uh, yeah I praise God that we serve uh, a risen savior <laughs> that we don't have a tomb to go visit to memorialize uh, who he was because uh, scripture says he was and is and is to come and uh, whenever you, you hear that that's encouraging because uh, the same God that did all the miracles in the past is doing miracles today uh, <laughs> I'm reading it just in messages from people recently it's just beautiful stuff um, but when I say where's the body I also want to put it in a different term. Uh, where's the body? Where's the body of Christ right now? Um, it, it, <laughs> it's, it's one of those things that uh, uh, we can't we can't hide. Uh, we still have to do what we do, you know. Uh, um, some some sometimes we might look for a, a escape a scapegoat or a, a way out. Well, that, that don't include me. Uh, I'm gonna read Ephesians 4 here real quick. It says it was He, Christ Himself. Who gave some to be apostles, some to be prophets, some to be evangelists, and some to be pastors and teachers. Uh, <laughs> I hear a lot of people that say, well, God didn't call me to be a preacher. Or God didn't call me to be an evangelist or a, a, a prophet or whatever. Uh, <laughs> Here's verse 12. To prepare God's people. That's, that's you. To prepare God's people for works of service. So that the body of Christ may be lift, built up. Um, so we all got a part in this. You know, it's not just the preachers that are trying to do uh, church still. It, it's the people. Uh, I thank God for uh, a church family that, that comes alongside me and supports sometimes in my silliness, sometimes in my craziness. Uh, but but yet, <laughs> he put people in my life that, that uh, uh, come around that and help make it what it's supposed to be. Um, But it has to be evident in our communities, people. It has to be evident in the people that God put in our lives. It has to be <laughs> uh, a huge thing. And, and don't take it lightly, what God's put inside of you. Um, uh, don't, don't add to it. Don't take away from it. Uh, let it be exactly what it's supposed to be. Because the other thing is uh, I see a lot right now is, is people taking Scripture and they're, 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 they're putting their own twist on it and not, not, not leaving it in the context they, they take it and they, they they make it say what they want for their purpose and that's just craziness man that's that's a <laughs> uh we'll be accountable for what we say uh as far as scripture is concerned so so uh, we really have to be careful that we're speaking truth the truth jesus said i'm the way the truth and the life jesus is the truth okay let's not add to that or take away from that uh what he did he didn't need our help to do <laughs> there's nothing we could do to make happen what did happen uh in jesus life that that that, that made it a way for us to go to heaven you know what i'm saying so when i say where is the body uh where is the body think about that where is the body of christ right now not the body that raised from the dead. I'm talking about the body that we are, all the pieces, you know. Uh, God, God called us all to, to have a part in it. You know, we can't step away. We can't, we can't uh, deny that God put a call on all of our lives. Uh, God put a, <laughs> uh, a crazy plan together for you. Uh, know that uh, God put a, a lot of time and effort into your life. And he's got good plans for you. I said it last week. 
that God has good plans for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give hope in the future. <laughs> uh, today ain't the easiest day to, to have church. It ain't, especially outside because it's raining. But you know what? Uh, God is our shelter. God is a lot of things. But today, he's going to be our, 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 our peace, our joy, our, <laughs> our shelter. How about that? God is good. You know, I don't know where you're at, where you're going to be at today, how, how you're going to have church uh, with, your, with your family, uh, where, wherever it's at, however it is, uh, just enjoy the Lord today. Um, today's going to be a little bit different as far as a driving church goes, because you're going to see a whole different Andy, and I'm going to leave it at that, but uh, it's going to be special. Uh, it really is, so if you can come, or if you don't come, if you, you tune in the radio to the 99.3 or, or AM 1230, or the AM 1460, uh, we're Beaver County Radio. Man, I got water on the screen all of a sudden. Let me clear that up. Try that, there we go. Uh, now I get my thumb out the way. Um, this video stuff. Um, but anyhow, <laughs> if you're far away, you can go on beavercountyradio.com and on their homepage, you can have a listen here so you can listen wherever you're at in the country, wherever you're at in the world actually, but uh, crazy how that is. God can use technology too, know that. How about how about that? But uh, uh, wherever you're at, if you can if you can listen in, if you can come, uh, you might have to turn your windshield wipers on if you're here for driving church a little bit. But that's okay. Uh, we're still going to praise the Lord. We're still going to worship the Lord today. Uh, we're still going to do what we do because that's what we're called to. Uh, it's not I'm going to praise you, Lord, when the weather's nice and it's sunny to, and 60 degrees. It's like 40 some degrees right now and raining. But you know what? Uh, this is the day the Lord has made, right? So no matter what you do you know, on this day, take time out and worship the Lord and thank him for what he's done for you. <laughs> Too often we just come to him with our wants and needs and we don't take time to praise him. But I'm going to tell you this morning, take time out to praise him. You know, if nothing else, that, that we have some rain to, to help everything grow and get green, that we have a fresh breath in our lungs, that we have a heart that's beating still, you know. We're alive, we're kicking, and there's a reason for that. So as you do what you do today, uh, ponder that thought. Uh, where's the body? You know, don't amputate yourself from the body of Christ. Come be a part of something, you know. Uh, get, get yourself involved. We all need a purpose, you know. Uh, <laughs> life's not meant to be spent separated from people. I, I've heard that a lot this week, that people have been social distancing and staying at home and quarantining and everything. And that's, 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 that's important right now. I get it. But at the same time, I'm hearing people being crushed by their loneliness, people being crushed by their, their, uh, their, 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 their yearning for, uh, uh, some kind of relationship with somebody, you know what I mean? Just to have a conversation in person is, is a, is a valued thing. It's like treasure right now to, to have a conversation in person with somebody and, and, uh, know that, uh, you have God Almighty. That's why we were created to have fellowship with the Father, <laughs> to have a relationship with the Father. You know, that, that's wow. If you can hear that this morning, if, if you can believe that, you know, I'm not, I'm not here talking about something that I'm doing. You know, I'm talking about what God's doing, and, and what God's doing is, is, is he's, he's bringing us back to Himself. There's some more raindrop. Bang house, it's, there's my thumb. And once again, I'm getting wet here, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get off this hill and uh, go get ready for church. So uh, family, uh, I love you. Uh, hang in there, keep at it, don't stop now, none of that stuff. And uh, keep pressing forward. God's got big stuff in store for us, amen? Love you family, God bless.